group of islands off Land's End, so effectively we're now in the Atlantic. I literally arrived about an hour ago by plane, and I was told to get onto this ferry to one of the smaller islands called Briar Island, and that's it. I know no more than that. It's very nice here, I <laughs> Do you know what's going on? No. No? It makes about 18 of us. <laughs> Now, dive? How'd you get off? <laughs> oh, you go up a ladder. Isn't it? A ladder? Well, oh, that's yeah, why he's got those rather yeah, yeah. affecting oh, waders on. Perhaps <laughs> you get issue waders given to us. It seems a bit kind of casual. Do you think this is literally just... I don't know. It's not my feet, is it? No, you do a walk. I hope it's... Uh, I don't like the water either. This is probably low tide. <laughs> we want it to swim <laughs> off when it's high tide. <laughs> it literally is. That is our, oh, our it. platform yeah. together. Yeah. Yeah. Oh dear. Right, right. Here you go. Right, I, after you. Somebody's going to go first. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, thank you. Bye bye. Um, you don't have a challenge on you, do you? No, sorry. Nothing. I don't know whether I meant to get off now. Anyone got a challenge? No. Thank Hi. you. Hello. Hello. <laughs> this is very nice. I have to give you that. Oh, thank you. Excuse me. This challenge, I guess. At, at two o'clock on Friday, Mrs. Langdon will return to Briar for the first time in three years. Be on the low tide jetty to meet her. P.S. There is no low tide jetty. <laughs> oh, that was coming. <laughs> Build one and arrange a flotilla of small boats to accompany Mrs. Langdon on her journey home. Make sure she keeps her feet dry. I don't believe it. Is this meant to be where the jetty is? Is this the jetty at the moment? <laughs> oh, no. the job in hand, I guess. Um, I think the first thing we'd better do is just find someone who actually lives here um, to see what on earth is going on. Hello! Uh, you were about to run away, weren't you? As we stormed up. Do you live here? Oh, no, we, no don't. we don't. Hi! Do you live here? It's about the mill. <laughs> I guess that I have today. Oh, really? Does anyone live here? <laughs> <laughs> totally deserted. Hello! This is also the local laundrette. Hi! Hello! Do you live here? I do indeed. But well, last we found someone who oh, lives good. here. Can I help you? What are you doing? Do you know anything about who might have set this challenge? <sighs> oh, Marion Bennett is who you want. Top of the road. Yes. Turn left. And yes. when you get to the top of the hill, the, the road forks. Take the left-hand fork. Marion. Marion Bennett. South Hill. Okay. All right then. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Now, why couldn't Marion have one of those nice little beach houses? <laughs> now what? South Hill or something? A man with a gate. Hello. Hello. Does Marion live here? No. Oh no, no. This You're is a joke. You're headed in the right direction. She's got to this live here. another mile that way. Oh God. <laughs> Can I find you a chair? Are you okay? No, I think I'll, I think I'll make it. <laughs> doesn't look a well-man, does it? A house! Oh, God! Are you Marion? Hurry! Marion, hang on, we're coming round. Don't move. <laughs> At long last, Marion, I nice. know. And you. Have you actually come about? We have. Yes, your key, the famous low tide key that you need. 
Have you got a chair for that man who's about to be I have. Why don't you come in? Seriously. Um, so lovely child. Who's Mrs. Langdon? Well, Mrs. Langdon um, used to live here until her husband died um, about three years ago. Right. She used to live at a little cottage around the corner. And she now lives at um, one of these little sheltered housing flats on St. Mary's, the main island. Yeah. And, of course, like many old people, she has real difficulty in getting on and off the boats, especially when they have to land on sand and use ladders and planks. Just being honest. <laughs> <laughs> How we got here you know, ten minutes, five minutes ago. So, um, really what we need, and we've needed for a long time, is a low-water jetty. I think it's a mission impossible, actually, but, you know, we oh, have dear. great faith in you. Oh, you. Well, listen, it's a lovely challenge. We have tried for many years to get the key built, and our, our stumbling block all the time was the actual cost of it. Because yeah. we're a very small population, you know, 70 yeah. people, roughly. And to get that sort of money to serve such a small number is difficult. But um, we did at one point, the Duchy of Cornwall, who own all the islands, um, they lent us their consultant engineer, and he was really helpful. Do you know him? Do you know his name? Yes. He, well, the actual company was called Beckett Rankin Partnership, but he was the, um, I think he was the younger partner, Tim Beckett. Tim. And uh, Marion here says that um, some time ago you were actually involved in some plans to build such a jetty. Are those plans nearby? <laughs> Could they be resurrected? You've got to try and make a start on it, or you've got to finish it by Friday. By Friday? Yeah. Hello? have to look at modifying the design in order to make it quicker. Right. Um, this is extraordinarily kind. 100 to 200 tons of material. You'll have London. to um, probably ship it from head to that. But having said that, to get all the gear and stuff, um, probably the nearest um, place to go is to Plymouth. Yeah, just, that's how I got here about sort of half an hour ago. I've just flown from Plymouth. Um, I mean, there's no way that you, you've got any time off over the next few days or so that you could uh, perhaps meet me in Plymouth. I'll, um, I'll try to meet you in Plymouth. I must say this is all very confusing. Literally minutes after being given the challenge on the island over there, which is Briar, I'm now heading towards another island, St Mary's, because I've got to get onto a plane from St Mary's and go back to the mainland to Plymouth. I hope you're following this. Bye. I'll see you later. Yeah. Ah, the other thing, of course, that we need is this, this container, this ship, and it does seem to be a rather handy one working here. Hi. Is this a freight ship? No. <laughs> Did it take up to 200 tonnes? About 100 tonnes, I think. About 100. Is this part of a steamship company? That's right, yes. Do they have... We need to... No, it sounds strange. <laughs> we need to find a vessel to apparently carry up to 200 tonnes of building materials and goods. But it would, So it wouldn't be this type. Got the main street. Yeah. On my left-hand side, about 200 yards up. Now, ah. it's pretty lovely to... Oh, here. Um, excuse me. Tell me where the headquarters of the steamship company are. Yes, if you go down here, yeah. keep on your left and you see the steamship office there. Thank you very much. And I think if you ask her, they may be in the back of your the place, the offices for the big knobs. The it? big knobs. Yeah. We want those big knobs. Right, <laughs> right. OK. Thank you. <laughs> we can't miss it down here. Here we go, the Isles of Silly Steamship Company. Hello. <laughs> We haven't come to a rescue. What can we do for you? We are sailing tomorrow night. Tomorrow night? And where does that go from? That'll go from Pendren, but you've got a problem. We only come into St Mary's, so you'll need another ship. There's nothing here big enough to do 200 tons. Right. But the crazy diamond is here working with The crazy diamond found our man. Do you know how far the airport is? The yeah, airport? Oh, about two miles. Yeah, oh, right. Yeah. Which road is it down? Is it this direction or is it up that road? Excuse me. Cavona for your daily bread. 
You're not going to the airport, are you? I wasn't, but you want to go to the airport. Well, it couldn't take us, yes. could you? Are you sure? Yes. You are brilliant. So you own a bakery? I suddenly had this thought it might be rather nice to have a huge cake saying, oh, Fry a welcome to Mrs. Langdon. When do you want it for? Friday. Oh, yes. Do you think you could do something? Do something? OK, then. Bye. Next stop, Plymouth. Poor chat's rather confused. <laughs> he actually dropped us off at Plymouth Airport first thing this morning for us to get our plane to the Sillies in the first place, and now here we are back again. What we're doing now, Tim Beckett on the phone mentioned there was a, a company, a construction company, about 200 yards from the airport. Can we talk to someone about construction and manpower? Oh, gosh, no. There, please. Hello again. Tim, I'm so sorry to keep destroying your day like this. <laughs> I am now um, with Steve Hindley um, at E. Thomas Construction. Right. And I just wondered if you'd had time to, to gather your thoughts um, so that I could tell Steve really what we're after in terms of manpower, equipment, ingredients, and whatever. Sand, gravel, concrete, timber. About eight tons of cement. Eight tons of cement. Tim, how else can we ruin Steve's day? Twenty skilled men. Twenty skilled men. Yes. What we're going to do is have a number of um, piers, yeah. which we'll build out of um, concrete tunnel lining segments. Concrete tunnel lining segments. segments. Yeah. I've managed to put myself on the first flight down to Plymouth in the morning. I shall meet you at the airport. <laughs> OK, Tim. Okay. Thanks a lot, then. Bye now. Bye. We've well, certainly got a big Right. You really need some divers. Yeah. If we're going to provide some men, we'll need some divers. The best people to go and talk to are um, the Ocean Project, Jim Gill. Okay. We just tried to get through to this company in Cheshire who make these concrete tunnel lining segments. Hello, Phoebe Burton. Oh, hello there. Um, could I speak, please speak to Don Johnson? You seem to have been stopped by the police here. Um, what were you doing, Paul? I'm going to do that now. Hello. Good evening, sir. Hi. Sorry, I thought we weren't speeding, were we? No. No. Obviously, you're lost. A tiny bit. We're looking for the Plym Plymouth Ocean Project. It's at Provisan. Make a heck of a bird for you, too. The place you want is down here somewhere. There we are, the British Sub Aqua Club. What an amazing place. Jim Gill! On the jetty. Hi! Oh, you're not Jim, are you? I'm afraid not. You're not oh. Jim. <laughs> Jim, hi! Can I help you? Yes, I think that you can. And we need some professional divers who are used to that construction you, work. Oh, we've got lots of divers, yeah. What's over the sink? Yeah. It's an open sink. It's an open sink. Somebody here, I want to talk to you. Go ahead. Hello, Diver One. This is Annika Wright. Are you busy from now until Friday? We need your help. What's your name, Karen? Come to the silly. <laughs> Is that him? Yeah. Dave, tomorrow, big moment. I'm going to get you in that wetsuit. This could be the start of a whole new career. Let's face it, you need it. Morning, this is the flight that's just come in from London to Plymouth. We're here to meet Tim. I hope he's on it. And hopefully he'll have had the plans in his head by now or on a piece of paper. You'll never know your luck and we'll be able to really sit down and work out exactly what we need because time is really pressing on now. Because I don't know what Tim looks like. Tim! Tim, no, not Tim. All right. Tim, you're welcome. Tim? 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 
That's it. Tim is not on the flight. The Gatwick flight is coming in. Oh my God. Is there a Gatwick flight coming in? Mm -hmm. Got Tim. Bear this, it's ghastly. He's not on this flight. We have completely blown it. Morning, oh. Annika. I'm so glad to see you. Basically, it's nine hills yeah. going down the beach. We need the cement and the aggregate. We also need reinforcement mesh. Ah, timber. We need to uh, work. And it would be unacceptable to use any timber that wasn't from a sustainable source. Right. Well, I know that on the islands, on the Seven Stones route in 1949, a ship called the Fantee was wrecked, carrying tropical hardwoods. And the islanders do occasionally bring up logs from it. Who is in charge? Who is in charge of this wood then? Oh, good morning. Is Colonel Robertson there, please? Good morning. Um, I'm with someone I believe you know called Tim Beckett. Yes. Um, yes. And he thought you might be able to help us out with a project we're doing. We, we've got to build a jetty in rather short time and we need some marine quality hardwood. Yeah. And he thought that you might be able to help us. Oh, um, I think we might be able to. Hi. Nice to see you. Where's Steve? He's done a bunch of Nice to see you. Oh, you did the other jetty, <laughs> the other key, which apparently took four months to do. Yes. We want yeah. one exactly like that within three days. <laughs> <laughs> so, can I need you gentlemen to um, yes. have a little short? See you. Um, see you hopefully up. at Penzance. Okay, yeah. good luck. Good see you luck later. You. What does that sound like? Hey, hey, it says cement work. What do you want, Mono? We want some of your cement. Try my mine cheese. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. The different types of cement, so this will be the sort that you'll require. And the only other problem we've got, and I hardly dare ask because you've been so generous already, is aggregate. Well, we don't actually make it, but in Penzance area, the best people are Pendling Granite. Okay. We could organise that for you. I could give them a ring. Could right? you? Yes. <laughs> Good afternoon, Toby Reinforcement. Hello. Um, I wondered if I could talk to someone about getting some reinforcement mesh. Problem is, we need um, it in Penzance by this afternoon. You must be joking. I'm not, unfortunately. <laughs> Shall I tell you what we need and then you can tell me to go away? I just heard back from Colonel Robertson. Apparently there's not enough of this special wreckage wood on the actual Isles of Scilly. He hoped there was, but there, there isn't. They've done a, a quick check. But the duck has been absolutely fantastic. And what they've suggested is that uh, there's a sawmill of theirs at Lost Withiel, which is near Liscard, apparently. So they've invited us to call in on our way down to Penzance, near Liscard somewhere, and basically raid it and take as much as we need. The Duchy of Cornwall woodlands, sawmills and shops. What a glorious smell. Kind of deserting. Hi. I gather Colonel Robertson has sent frantic messages down the line to you from the Silly Isles. Right, it's now one o'clock. People are starting to arrive all over Britain with all these raw materials and the workforce itself. Um, so we've got a bit of travelling to do. We've got to get to Penzance by about three o'clock. Let's go. As the rain comes in, the wind will pick up to a strong, perhaps smoky gale force suddenly. Basically, we've got gales and winds and rain tonight, which is just when we've got to start working. Now we're looking for a huge, great container ship called the Green Marita. Now, could that be it there? Oh, look, it's like our wood. Well done! You're wonderful. This is the Green Marita. Yeah, this is the Green Marita. All ready. Oh, Tim! Tim, sorry. Tim, I was going to complete day, so you're happy with everything. 
I'm happy. I'm as concerned about, about the weather. We listen to the um, uh, Radio 4 forecast, and it was, I have to say, it was such a touch of the gale tonight. if we're ever going to get a chance of getting this job done in time. The deadline is tight enough already. This is not helping matters. Meanwhile, even as we speak, the workforce hopefully are gathering at Land's End where we've got three planes laid on to take them to the Sillies. Let's go. Bye! Did the other two flights go off OK? Yes, they're all on the way. We have to go through a rather strange procedure, which is to be weighed now. Right. We'd better um, carry straight on. No, no, I insist you first. <laughs> I don't want to be first. Thank you very much. You did. Your name, sir? Beth. Thank you. Oh, someone's not a <laughs> get off. <laughs> very funny. <laughs> problem is um, the constraint on, on our working period will be the time. We'll have to work very intensively during the low tide period and we can't afford to waste any, any of them. Now in the meantime we'd better see if we can find the plant. We've got one JCB digger on fire. Is this well, it, Diane? It is it, yes. Um, um, you reckon like this is good enough? Well, yeah, yeah, obviously it's going to be a help, but really on the beach, we want something with four-wheel drive. Yes. Working the tide down and then coming back. Works. The only other one I know of is actually on the next island on Tresco. Let's go and take a look at it. A boat. We need a boat. This is coming in now. I'm afraid you've been coerced into this. Okay, okay. I don't see a sure. Is this where the guy lives? Well, it's not where he lives. No, but I think the JCB is kept in here. Ta-da! We've got, we've got some light out here. Hey! So you're happy with that? Yes, that's, that's a 50D, you know, I mean, that, that's a four-wheel drive machine, so... Okay. If we can, you know, just if we can get it over there. Just the thing to get across the channel. Where's Daunting. fine, Michael? Let's try and... I mean, is, is the tide that low that we could put some... Oh, no, there really is. What, are you going to go out there? <laughs> I don't think you bought it here. I don't see no reason why you shouldn't use it. How would we get it across? No tide? Um, Can it actually... I think you'd have to probably put it on the pontoons and perhaps get it across that way. You'd have to get someone to touch tow it across. Away in a manger. That's a briar. <laughs> Out, the tide has gone out, and you can see the site where you're 
going to be working. And I wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much. <laughs> It's now 11.30 at night and as you can probably hear, the wind has really got up strong now. In fact, not in wind or a gale, it feels like a hurricane. We've nearly finished here. The main problem we've got now is just trying to start Incredibly virile, healthy man. That's right. You, shall we go outside and sort of find <laughs> Let's put that away. Um, are you going to come and help us? We need some more manpower. You look like a sailor. An ex sailor, yes. An ex sailor. Have you yeah. got a boat? No, not at the moment. Oh, we need to get a whole flotilla of boats oh, we'll Friday that. afternoon at two o'clock on Briar. Oh, we want to speak to the boatman. Who's the boatman? Oh, the boatman in the harbour. Who's he? Well, there's Mike Hicks, there's Fraser Hicks, there's Benny Babcock, David Babcock. They're all sort all of the <laughs> Most of them are. Flotilla of boats, well, it's different. Listen, 
Can you help us? Have I met you already? I'm not going to answer that question on the grounds of the fact that I might incriminate myself. Were you in a, were you in a pub? I never drink, madam. No, I never go in a pub. Everyone's got the same beard on the thinners. I yeah, we share it's it It's interchangeable. Around. Yeah, Kenny had it earlier. I got it now, and I've got to pass it on to another fellow at the tree. <laughs> Could I borrow it? Yeah. <laughs> it's like a wood carving shop that does name plates. We should get the one down for our jetty. Look, that would be perfect, wouldn't it? Hello? Perhaps you could have raised the attention. Cooey, hello? I'll leave a note, perhaps. Um, a present for the people of Briar. May your feet forever be drier. No? That's <laughs> rather good. Oh, you've got a boat? Yes. Which is your boat? Do you know? Everyone. Do you know everybody on this island? Not everybody, no. A good, good amount. Good amount yeah. We're after as many boats as we can get our hands on for two o'clock on Friday. Yeah. Will you all ask your it's parents, your fathers, if at two o'clock on Friday they can assemble with their boats <laughs> on Friar? Yes. No. Don't do carpet Matt? at all. No. Nothing. I. Oh, what don't a shame! Think you're going to find for Mrs. Langdon who's going to open our jetty on Friday at 2 o'clock. We wanted a... Could the town hall not lend you one? Have they not got a red carpet? Do you know where the town hall is? Yeah. Yeah. I don't want the auction sale. Uh... No, it's, that's the town hall. Right, Go okay. through that door there. Okay. Oh, look! Sandy ball. Sandy. Uh, I just put Sandy in there. I can't spell the other name. Thank you. Lot number 53. Here we have a, a door of black. <laughs> Come on, you're safe. <laughs> we need some red carpet. Has anyone got a strip of red carpet? So when Mrs. Langdon walks on her new jetty, we've got a... Sorry? Oh, hang on. Oh, look. That would be... How much is that? One pair of red velvet, 54 inch drop. Yeah. Oh, excuse me, that is perfect. Well, we'll 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 tell you what. Well, I've got nothing to bid with. We'll donate that, all right? Will you? Yes. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> to move now the concrete tunnel lining segments remember them you wondered what they were those are they they're being assembled right now out to sea is the crazy diamond it's anchored out there because we now have to wait for the tide to go out again so that all the stuff that's been offloaded from the green marita can then be brought onto shore there's still an awful lot more to come ashore we're very behind on that over here the rusty old jcb we've commandeered it's back in action it's really all hands to the pump now Although morale is good, we are a good 12 hours behind. The go on issued on Wednesday, 3rd of October, 1540 GMT. Dogger Humber, Gale 48, hearing South Westerly, imminent. Hello, is that good year? Oh, hi. I wonder if you could put me through to someone who could help me with D-shaped rubber fendering. It's for a key. It's 50 metres long. We need it for both sides of it. Well, we're only going to be able to get this one, aren't we, until that crazy diamond gets in? The problem is, we need it by Friday. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. I 
many of us have ever felt quite so frustrated as you can see the crazy diamond behind is beached, but there's absolutely nothing we can do until the tide goes out further and we can start getting the JCBs in to get all the goods unloaded. We are now officially 12 hours behind time. All that unloading should have happened 12 hours ago. And to make matters worse, we've just heard news there's a forsake girl on the way again tonight. Oh. Off on the segments. We've got uh, three more to go on the top, on the middle ring. Right. And hopefully get those in now. What does the sea temperature feel like after Quite warm. a few hours? Quite, after a few hours, not so warm. Quite cold. <laughs> Tell me about your night. I work. <laughs> <laughs> Are you absolutely knackered? Nearly, yeah. yeah. Three hours sleep. Three hours sleep. Yeah. Then yeah. we've done quite well last night, we've done it for four bases. Incredible yeah. transformation. Yeah. yeah, it is, After yeah. all that night working, I can't believe it. It's a pier, isn't it? It is, there's a pier there. I mean, yeah. we, we have a jetty in the making, I feel. Hello. Langdon's Anywhere shopping, she'll be here in the co-op. Do you know where Mrs. Langdon is? Doris Langdon? Is she up here? Are you Doris? Are you Doris? Yes, I'm Doris. Hello. Danica here. Got cold hands, haven't you? Yeah, it's cold. We've just been to your house and they said you were here shopping. Oh. So, you're absolutely fine. All set and ready. Yes. You've got yes. everything you need. I think so. Yes. Posh frock. Oh, you're on. Right. Posh frock and I fall in the water, will not it? You won't get your feet wet this time. <laughs> it's, it's your, you're our special guest of honour, you see, so everyone's <laughs> going to make a real fuss of you. It's your day. Yes, I haven't been up there for two years now. Because I can't walk on the plank, you see. Yes. With our, I've got arthritis and I can't go down the plank. <laughs> they have to have a helicopter for me. <laughs> we'll winch you off if we don't get our jetty in time. <laughs> oh, here's our wood carver again. He's getting on with our beautiful plaque. Hello? It's a bit more open today. Hi! <laughs> Oh, you're doing it right now. Oh, you're doing it all carving it and everything. Well, that's what I do. Oh, I know, but I didn't know whether because of the time problem you just stuck yeah, it with well, the on. Yeah, well, I reckon I can do it. Mm, you remember Ken? We met him yesterday in the pub and everywhere else we went on some various. I now find she's driving the boat. It's jack of all trades, Ken. Just about. Yeah. Are you happy with the way the jet is looking now? Oh, very pleased, very pleased. As a boatman, yeah. have we thought of all the bits you might need? Oh, I hope you have. It's too late now. You've got to, you've got to go ahead with it now. I think oh, I you've know. done everything. Um, we've got the rubber fendering coming. Yeah. Um, so there's nothing else you need? Uh, a little pole on the end, so people can 
know there's something under the water and they don't run into it. Oh, right, just a regular piece of wood. Got a pole yeah. with a ball on the top or something. Right. A little iron frame and a plastic ball. So hope the youngsters don't fire their air guns at it. Where do you get <laughs> iron frames and plastic balls? Yeah, you have to talk to young Ted. Right, Ted Langdon. He's our blacksmith. Ted Langdon? Yeah, he lives on Briar. Could he be only to us related to Doris Langdon? Grandson. Hi, Ted. You are Doris Langdon's grandson. That's right, I yeah. didn't realise that, because apparently you're the blacksmith. I just presumed you were, you know, part of the... <laughs> part no, of I just been down to give one. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Um, because we need some help. So, Granny's just finished one shift. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When are you going back again? Eight o'clock tonight. So, off the time half past three. Just yeah. grab a quick well, five hours. Yeah, uh, we're going to have a wash and everything, you know. <laughs> what happens is all the islanders, it's wonderful, they've all sort of given over their houses to all the workforce who, as you know, have come over from the mainland, or most of them anyway. So, everybody's sleeping in digs, literally. And the islanders who own the cottages have pledged to sort of feed and, and look after us generally. All the workers That's who are right. staying there. Yeah, so, yeah. so where, which city are you in? Can we have a look? Yes. Oh, look, they've got a bed up in the uh, sitting yeah, room. One sits here, one sleeps upstairs. It's fantastic, <laughs> isn't it? You must have the best view of anybody. That's right, lovely, yeah. Down there. Beautiful. Well, Brian, yeah. we'd better let you get some That's rest. That's right, thank you very much. And we'll yeah. see you back on the site yeah. about 8 this evening. Up again, somewhere under the water is our jetty, which still needs an awful lot of work done to it. There is literally nothing we can be getting on with now. The workers have gone to catch a couple of hours sleep before the tide starts going out again. Meanwhile, I don't know. Whenever you see anyone who's really working hard, go, go for it! <laughs> Just go for it! Have a practice. One, two, three. Go! That's it. You hear that? That's not going to get in here. One, two, three. Go! to us and volunteered their services and right. they've appeared. The main thing we want to get doing now is to get the stuff off from Crazy Diamond. Well listen, oh. let's take you over here, get you a helmet and uh, we'll sort you out. More volunteers. Hang in there I think is the phrase for tonight. It's, um, we have to get a lot done tonight. Right, well um, you have an army of very eager and proficient workers out there, Jim. Now everyone's working so hard and with all this goodwill around, well I don't know, it makes you think maybe we are going to get this job done in time. the day our project was due to be completed as you can see we're not going to make it everyone is totally shattered work went on until four o'clock this morning it started again early today what we've got to do now is go to St Mary's and back round all the islands and warn people not to come today at two o'clock for the grand finale because it just isn't going to happen you couldn't put one of these posters up in your box you put this up in your shop window 
life's such a funny thing, isn't it? Couldn't agree more. We hit a bit of a hiccup. Yeah. We wondered if you could put that near your loin chop. Well, remember the original challenge at two o'clock on Friday, Mrs. Langdon will return to Bra for the first time in three years. Be on the low tide jetty to meet her. We didn't exactly manage that one, did we? But never mind. We will do it, Mrs. Langdon. Everybody from Bra who's turned out to see you. Come on, we'll follow Mrs. Langdon down. There we go. Uh, uh, we have a couple as we go down. <laughs> They look lovely and nice to have to say. I'd just like to say now, officially, the moment has come that we can officially hand over our jetty to Mrs Langdon and to all the people on Bra, not just the 70 or so who live on the island, but for future generations, hopefully for hundreds of years, this jetty will stay here. And I'd like to now say an extraordinary thank you to the most amazing team of workers. I know I say this every week, but they have just been so incredible. Thank you all very much indeed. And here's to the future of the Jetty. Let the party commence! 